Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can change the settings on our Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. To do this we'll use the second key located here, the decimal key that looks like this located here, and the enter key that looks like this located here. The settings we can change include the number of decimal places, the angle units, the date format, the number separators, and the calculation method. So to do this, we first go into the format menu by pressing second and then the decimal key here, and that'll bring this up. Our first option is DEC for decimals, and it's set to two right now. This is where we can set the number of decimals that appear after a number on our screen. If we want to set it to a floating number, we can press nine and then press enter and then we hit clear. In this case, we'll only get as many numbers as we need. So you can see that if we go one divided by four, we get two decimals. But if we get one divided by two, we only get one because that's how many we need there. Our second setting, if we go down one with the arrow key here, is DEG. This is our angle units. So right now it's set to degrees. If we want to change that, we can press second, enter. And you can see it changes to rad or radians. And if you press second, enter again, it changes back to degrees. So those are our two options in that regard. And we'll leave it set to degrees for now. And if you go down one again, you get this, which is our date option. Right now it's set to European date, which is days, months, years, but if we want to change that to the American standard, which is months, days, years, we use the second enter key to change back and forth. So we'll leave it set to the US version right now. If we go down again, we get the number separators. Right now you can see we're using a period, which is the US standard, but if you press second enter, you can see we have a comma there now that separates our whole numbers from our partial numbers. So if we go 1 divided by 4 now, you see we have a comma before our 0.25. Alright, but we'll change that back to the US version and the period decimal point right there for now. And then if we go down one more, we get into the calculation method. Right now it's set to chain, but if we press second, enter to change it, we get AOS or algebraic operating system. Press it again and back to chain. So for now we'll leave it as chain. If you go down again, you're back to decimals, degrees, US date, and the US decimal point. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.